professional wrestling, the greatest art form in the world, and you know that you want to get involved. So where do you start? What do you need to do? How do you prepare yourself? How do you become a pro wrestler in 2023? or 2024, 2025, whenever you watch this video, same deal applies. First, let me say that of the millions of people who one day dreamed of becoming a pro wrestler, even just taking that first step and, and heading to a pro wrestling school or even watching this video is a step beyond a majority. So I commend you for taking that step. I commend you for, for having ambitions to do what we do because I tell you that in my 20 plus years as a pro wrestler, coach, and all the other jobs I've done in the industry, it's the most rewarding business in the world, but also the toughest. If you're enjoying these videos and wanna support me in making bigger and better content just like this, make sure you head over to my worldbeaterwrestling.com Patreon. It's a community for pro wrestlers, current and aspiring, a place of networking, collaboration, and exclusive learning content to help you on your pro wrestling journey. Anyway, back to the video. So first, let's start with the training school because you need to find somewhere to train. And unless you've been in the NFL, probably not a good chance that you can knock on that performance center door and get yourself a contract on day one. The pro wrestling school you go to should not just be the closest facility to home. Professional wrestling is not regulated. It's not like other sports anyone can truly open up their own school regardless of experience level. So you need a little bit of quality control. I would always be looking first and foremost at places that have the best reputation. So do your research online. Find schools that have reputable coaches who have produced reputable talent, maybe names you might have seen before, and just ask around. Ask people who have done great things in wrestling where they would train in your home city if it was up to them. But also be aware that just because you might step foot in a place and start training, it doesn't mean you have to end up in that place. If you do start training and it's not fitting your values or what you want out of pro wrestling, if, if some alarm bells are ringing, then don't be afraid to move on. Now, when you make contact with a promotion, often they will either ask you to try out, to attend an open day, or to join a fundamentals class. Different promotions have different philosophies, different ways they do it, but be prepared to work on your conditioning because that's generally where you start. The fundamentals of pro wrestling are to build our body to keep each other safe, not just yourself, but also your training partners. Look, professional wrestling is not for everyone. It's not easy. There's a lot of danger involved and a high risk of catastrophic injury. So any training school that is worth a damn is gonna put safety number one. So a lot of those tryouts are designed to weed people out. They're, designed to have a group come through who have the physical and mental and emotional capability to at least join a fundamentals class. If you're quitting on yourself early on, then there's a good chance that you'll quit on yourself when you're holding someone else's safety in your hand. So a lot of promotions won't take that risk. So be prepared to work hard. To be honest, on day one or even month one, there's probably not a lot of technique that you're gonna learn. Don't expect to come in and learn swanton bombs in your first week. You're gonna be developing your body and your mind for the toll that pro wrestling takes. But you wanna know how to prepare yourself, so let's start with the physical, one of the most important things in professional wrestling. Where I see a lot of people go wrong is they put too much stock in getting their bodies prepared before starting training. Now, it is a noble thing, it's a commendable thing to wanna to get yourself in shape first because there is a level of athleticism that you need before you start training. But a lot of people think, mm, I'm gonna to go to the gym for six months. I'm gonna try this sport for a year and get myself fit first. I'm gonna go jogging every morning for the next year before I start wrestling training. And that time never comes. The truth is pro wrestling has different demands to any other sport any other athletic endeavor I have ever experienced in my life. I've seen bodybuilders, football players, actors, couch potatoes come in and have pretty similar results on day one. It's hard, it's tough, it's gonna to be tough for anyone. So for me, the best thing you can do if you've got some sort of base level of fitness is just start training. This is the place where you're gonna get fit, you're gonna get yourself into that ring shape. But if you have a little bit of time before joining that fundamentals class or heading to your first tryout, there's definitely a few things I'd recommend that you can get your body ready for day one. First thing I'd say is 
hit the gym. It's an obvious one. Uh, and look, what you do just depends on your goals, your shape, your size, what you enjoy doing, what's gonna keep you consistent. Whether it's hypertrophy style bodybuilding training, powerlifting, CrossFit, high intensity interval training. Look, they all have their pros and cons. They all have their merits and they will all help in some way with pro wrestling, but not all the way. Martial arts is another big one. I promote doing any sort of grappling art from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to submission grappling, catch wrestling, amateur wrestling, judo. They're all gonna help in a lot of ways. And the same goes for striking arts like Muay Thai, um, Taekwondo, Karate. They're all gonna help in some way, whether it's footwork, conditioning, discipline, some of the same movements that we use in pro wrestling, particularly with things like Jiu Jitsu and wrestling. Give them a go. And this is not something I say that's exclusive for people wanting to start wrestling. I promote it to anyone in wrestling. I know personally, it's something I still do often. I still train every single week in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and submission grappling and amateur wrestling. And it helps me in so many different ways with what I do in the ring. Now let's talk about the mental side. As you can gather already, I've said it a few times, professional wrestling is one of the hardest things you will ever do mentally. I equate it to a combination of live stunt work to improv theater, to mixed martial arts, all combined together in front of a large, stressful, anxiety-driven, paying audience. It's not easy at the best of times. So you can be really great at learning technique and pick it up really quickly, but maybe your performance side struggles, or maybe you're really good at, at acting and performing and, and having a presence, but you just can't understand the techniques. Everyone will come to their hurdles and you'll probably come to them very quickly and they'll be frustrating. It's a long game. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So you need to work hard and be consistent because if you're not consistent in training, it's two steps forward, two steps back. And there's a lot of competition in pro wrestling. You know, a training school could have anywhere from 20 to 120 people all fighting for spots on shows. So I always say, don't have too many lofty expectations. Don't expect to get yourself signed straight away. Start small, one foot in front of the other and work your way up. But most importantly, enjoy the learning process. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the community that you're around and just love training for pro wrestling. It's a lot of fun when you don't put too many expectations on yourself. Of course, aim high in the long run, but there's gonna be a lot of little successes on the way if you keep your head on straight. And those little successes will give you momentum that may lead to those opportunities in five, 10, 15 years time. And then you've started training, you're on your way, you're learning the fundamentals. How do you get booked on a show? Look, training schools and promotions are often linked. So usually that's an easy way in. You can train up, impress the bookers, and then they'll book you on a show perhaps. Um, but some places don't. Everywhere is different. Everywhere has different values, philosophies, and things that they, they want out of their pro wrestlers. So I always say build a cheer squad, try to network. Try to build up mentors and people who, who you can use to pick their brains, to give you regular feedback, and to also put in a good word at the right time. And tick every box. Make sure you're training hard here, but also training hard outside of here. Study tape, work on your character. Think about what you would like to be as a pro wrestler. Build your body up. Professional wrestling is an aesthetic business. Leave no stone unturned, and eventually, you might fit a role that a promotion needs on their next show. So I have my fingers crossed for you if you are just starting your journey or about to begin. It takes a lot of courage to begin professional wrestling, but I hope you get everything out of it that you want. Of course, if you're here on YouTube, click the like button, spread the word. And if you enjoy what I do, I would appreciate a subscribe and head over to my worldbeaterwrestling.com Patreon for more exclusive content on your journey for current and aspiring pro wrestlers. I'll see you next week for the next episode of World Beater Wrestling.